Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thank you for joining me. Last week, I announced a new segment called What's on Your Workbench? And I can't believe the response I've had. Now, a number of you have sent me emails and telling me what's on your bench. I would like a couple of pictures. If your bench happens to be the barbecue, if your bench happens to be gardening, if your bench is like mine, building guitars, by all means, take some pictures and shoot them along to me. Now, the first one out of the gate was Michael from Michael Builds. Now, I've told you about this fellow. He's a friend of mine, and honestly, he is crazy as a loon. I'm telling you, you've got to go to his channel and watch it. You will absolutely love it. The guy is so clever, so smart, and it's just so much fun to hang out with. It's, it's really incredible. In fact, he was the first one that did send me some photos. And I looked at those and I thought, oh, I can work with those. That wasn't enough for Michael. He had to go and do a video. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut to Michael's video of what's on his workbench. So what do you say we do that right now? And then I'll come back and we'll have a little chat at the end. Okay, let's do it. Michael, you're up, bud. Well, Monty, welcome to my shed. And I am so excited to share with you what's on my workbench. Okay, so what I'm attempting to do is to make a Monty inspired OM guitar. But the problem is, is that you can't do that without about a hundred jigs. Now, unfortunately, this is about all I have done so far, but that's because I have to spend all the rest of my time making about a hundred jigs to be able to complete one guitar. But that's the beauty of what I have on my bench today because these are all Monty inspired jigs. I, I want to start off with my favorite jig because this is this is the first jig that Monty showed us on his channel and it's the first jig that I made. I'm gonna call it the stretcher because well I have no idea what this is called so but I was able to use this in tandem with these wedges to uh, glue these slats together to be able to complete the back of my guitar. The uh, nice thing about this jig is that I can use it for other woodworking, uh, not just guitar making. Moving on. This form was also Monty inspired. It uh, looked like Monty's was homemade, so I figured, why can't I? This is to form the sides of the guitar after I've bent them. And I actually made this at the same time that I made another jig, which I'll show you in a minute. This is a template that I made to help me find the center of the guitar, to help me trace the outer shape, and as well as find other dimensions very easily. This is a 12 foot radius block sander for when I go to make the fretboard. This is another sanding block that Monty showed us how to make uh, for sanding the radius of the spine. And yes, I did borrow my wife's rolling pin and I did ask her for permission. Although I didn't tell her what I was using it for. The, uh, the fun thing about jigs is that sometimes you have to make a jig to make another jig. So I made my own 18 foot radius disc and I did that with the help of this jig, which allows me to take my router and run it over the MDF at a perfect 18 foot radius. The only problem is that it was very time consuming and very, very messy. Just a do yourself a favor and spend the $130 to buy a radius disc. And this handy little jig allowed me to cut an 18 foot radius on the bracing of the guitar. Again, I constructed this by watching Monty's videos. And last but not least, this monstrosity. This monstrosity is not done yet, but I used the cutoffs from the other jig that I made to construct this side bender. I am, I'm attempting to make a, a portable side bender that when I'm done I can pack it up, hang it up on the wall where it's out of the way. But um, I sent the pictures of what I had so far to Monty and he told me that there is a much better screw option than what I have going on here because to be honest with you, I have no idea how I was going to attach this. But anyway, Monty's going to leave you an Amazon link down below. 
and it's only $18, so there's really no reason not to do it. But obviously, I have a lot more work to do on this. I need to elevate it off the bench, but I got my heating blanket ready to go. I've got my spring steel ready to go. I've got some springs to help me bend the sides down. I also have some sides ready to bend. So, Monty, I'll let you know how that works out when I finally get this jig finished. And that's it. That is what's on my workbench. And uh, on a personal note, Monty, I just want to thank you for all of the incredible encouragement and the inspiration. You inspire me on a daily basis to do more, to do better. I just hope that when I am your age, the young age of... <laughs> I just hope that when I'm your age, I am just as ambitious and still ready to take on the world, just like you. But with that being said, Monty has been stuck at 29.7 thousand subscribers for about a year now. Let's help Monty support his channel by telling our friends, telling family, tell that cousin that you don't want to speak to anymore because he embarrasses you. By the way, if you don't have a cousin like that, you're probably the cousin. Let's get everybody to subscribe. Let's get Monty up to 30,000 subscribers already, all right? Also, you can help support Monty's channel by picking up some awesome Monty merch. I honestly, this is my favorite shirt. It is 100% cotton. It, uh, it, it's very comfy and it's actually pretty slimming. Also, don't forget that Monty and I are in cahoots with Starbond. So this is another way you can help support Monty's channel by uh, clicking on the links down below and picking up some Starbond. This, uh, you can't do this project without Starbond, to be honest with you. And Monty, this tea's for you. It's green. <laughs> it's green tea. I like the mug anyway. And Monty, I can't, I can't wait to show you when it's done. Yeah! Well, wasn't that a fun video? I'm telling you, that's Michael, and that's why I keep telling you, go check out his channel. The man is just so funny and, and really has a, a, he's clever. He's smart as a whip, and you can see that in the way he's created things. He doesn't waste anything. So, Michael, thank you for sending that. Now, I want you to send me, you can send me a video if you'd like, Send me some pictures and I'll put it together and make something and, and we'll talk about what's on your bench. And by all means, this is your channel, so let's do it. Let's get together. We've come to that point where I need to tell you to check out the links that are down below because there are a lot of them. You'll find a link to the Starbond glue. You'll find a link to my book. And if you haven't got a copy, it's available on Amazon in paperback or an electronic version. And I think you'll like it. I've had pretty good reviews on this. So by all means, check that out. You'll find a link to Michael Builds. You'll find a link to Leo Santorelli. And check out those channels because I think you'll enjoy both of them. In fact, I know you will. Well, that's it for this first episode of What's on Your Bench. I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.